Our annual New Year's Eve a special returns. It's called 2014 Goodbye Bad Year. December 31st, 12.30 a.m. Eastern, 9.30 p.m. Pacific. We got Will Smith, Pink Floyd, and the original cast of The Electric Company. <laughs> <laughs> last story. That's the last story. <laughs> Merry Christmas, more like Merry Spliffless. A medical marijuana dispensary was forced to remove their holiday decorations after people complained. Harbor House of Dark in San Pedro, California. I thought that place was fake. Dank. Dank. Paint? Harbor House of Dank. Oh, sorry, what did I say? Dark. 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 Dank. <laughs> well, they painted their windows with festive images of Santa smoking a blunt and Frosty with his pill bottle. Said one Christmas purist, have some damn sense. Kids walk by that place all the time. Soon as the store's owners caught wind of this, he had the paintings destroyed. I don't know, Tom. Were these paintings that awful? No, it was great. Santa Claus uh, smoking something. I mean, if, what, the kids the kids go by, they're, they're going to see Santa Claus. They don't, you know. See the other stuff. Yeah, and they, they, they see it's a pot dispensary. <laughs> I don't know what, what the problem is. How old Trace. are your kids? Uh, there's uh, eight and five. Okay, somewhere so there. minor teenagers, they know exactly what Santa's doing. I think it's terrible. I'm, yeah. I think that it's, they totally crossed the line with but that. How yeah. else are you going to sell pot to kids? <laughs> 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 you claim to know about business? Yeah. And by the way, you know, Tracy, you talk, you talk, you always talk about being in the, about the free, free market. Right, and here you, you want to regulate yeah. Santa and pot. You're right. That's very hypocritical of me. <laughs> that being said, let Frosty get high, not Santa. Well, he is, they call him, they don't call him Frosty because he's cold. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Well, I went too far, guys. Should have shut up. Uh, thoughts on this? What does science tell you? Well, <laughs> I consulted it during the break and uh, we're not a offended by this. Okay. It's yes. not. I mean, it's like, it's not peer pressure. Our kids like, oh my gosh, if Santa's doing it, then I have to, Santa is like lives yeah. in the North Pole and is married. Like kids aren't yeah. modeling their was, lifestyles off of Santa. If it were Fonzie, it would be another story. Yeah. Yeah. Someone cool. Yeah. yeah someone right. cool. Or Elsa yeah. from Frozen. That's a whole nother story. And he does everything. Santa does <laughs> everything yeah. at the holidays. He, he uses every product. That's true. That's true. He sells cars. Yeah. Andy. <laughs> That's the thing. It would have made more sense to show him doing meth. <laughs> He's got to assemble billions of toys. That's so true. He's flying all over the place. He, he's not sleeping for 24 hours. Yeah. He's the face I, of Coke. On. He is the, the face of Coke, too. That's Coke. right. I'm just saying. He's the face of Coke. He should be doing math. We're really doing a family-oriented show tonight. <laughs> yes. uh, you know what, though? I think, uh, I think that uh, I, I have to uh, agree with Tracy in the sense that potheads are only going to be able to make pot more acceptable if they stop making constant pot humor. Yes. They've got to, like, grow up. Uh, it, you don't need a drunk Santa painting in your liquor store because it's alcohol. You talk about responsibility. Potheads and pot sellers haven't reached the point of being responsibility. All right, that does it for me. Boy, did I end on a dull note.